Hey guys, Jason with Inline Defense. Excited to be here again with you today. Today we got the Grey Ghost Apparition Bag. We're going to be getting on the bench and showing you guys what we can do with this thing. But uh, I want to start off and just say thanks to all our Patreons. You guys are what make these videos possible. And thanks to everyone that subscribes here and, and especially those that comment here. Uh, we enjoy reading all those comments and interacting with you guys down there. So please keep that up. Let us know what you like, what you dislike, what you'd like to see different. Um, we really take that feedback to heart and, uh, and enjoy it. But for now, let's get on with this, uh, with this bag, show you guys what we could put in it. All right, let's have some fun. And I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, Jason is going to open this thing up. We're going to see an SBR. Uh, no, no, nope. I like my dogs too much. Uh, but I do have a pistol in here that I wanted to show you guys kind of how everything fits together. Now, I do really like the gray, gray man look of this pack. Um, so this is a firearm that you guys have seen before. It's one that we installed that Odin Mini on. Just kind of want to go through some of the things that we have here. So it comes with this uh, Velcro system already connected in here. I'm, excuse me, already sewn in here. And you kind of, I don't know, mix and match how you how you want to do things. So I have my pistol set up in here. Oh my gosh, it's a terrible SBA3 brace. Um, yeah, very scary. So the idea here, uh, the idea would be to have an SBR, which I don't have. Um, but get this thing put together pretty easily. Boom. All right, the mag. It's loaded up. Now ready to rock and roll. Um, cool little pack. It also has some pouches that you can see right here that fold up uh, magazine. This is one of the things that I, I'm not a huge fan of. I, I think that these are made for magazines. I mean, it. It looks like it fits a magazine. It looks like it was made for it. But this bungee system, you really got to kind of crank on it tight. And even with it all the way over, I mean, that bungee cord is really stressing that, that Valco right there. So even here, you can kind of hear maybe that it's, it's trying to really tear away from there. Don't know if you can hear that or not. Uh, but got two additional mags that are in here Let's set this aside and we'll kind of go through the rest of this pack all right so yeah this this loop lining runs all the way down to the very bottom of the pack and you really could use this as a hiking pack um you know it, it definitely fits the bill of one and there's plenty of stuff and one of the things that i'll do before i end the video i'll kind of show you what my um, camping setup looks like with this bag because honestly that's that's what I use it for most often and again I've had this for I don't know over a year or so so various pouches that you see in here um, a lot of organization which I really like very cool setup that Grey Ghost has done and, you know a little keeper for if you have a little keychain flashlight which is typically what I keep on there um, yeah, so a spot for a, a bladder. We'll go into the next area. You kind of have these like teardrop um, levels, if you will. Next area, you have some more loop, loop lining. More pouches here, some places for pins. You know, I don't know what you'd want to put in here. I usually have um, a compass that I keep here, and I think I keep my bivy here, but... Again, when we get to that point, I'll show you how it's set up for my camping. A little mesh mesh pocket here. Pretty cool. And then on the very outside, you have this area, which this is where I keep stuff that I want to get to quickly. If I'm if I am hiking with family, um, you know, I'll keep trail mix or something like that that the kids can can get to with this on my back still. So down here at the bottom on either side see some 
water bottle pouches on my other side. And then let's flip this over and I'll show you. It's on the other side. So over your hips, you have some pouches and this is for my own personal snacks while I'm on the trail. One of the things that I, I, I wish uh, I would see more of um, is Molly webbing right here. Because there's uh, more often than not, these pouches remain empty. One of the things I wish I could do if I had Molly webbing right here is I would have my Molly Alien Gear holster right here so I'd have easy access to my firearm uh, while I'm hiking through the woods. Um, you know, not that I've. I've ever had a bear attack or a cougar attack or anything, but I've seen bears while I'm out hiking. Awesome padding. This is just fantastic padding. And the, the way that they have this set up, you get some really good airflow in here while you're hiking with this thing. Uh, same thing on the hip belt. Well worth it for me. It's my go-to hiking pack now. But uh, you do kind of get the extra benefit of having some cool weapons set up. So let me pack it up how I normally have it for um, my backpacking or hiking and show you guys what I typically keep in here. So it's a beautiful day, I decided to take the bag outside and we're just gonna go over what we have uh, stored in all these all these pockets and stuff that I have in the bag. So first things up is a uh, non-insulated stainless steel water bottle and uh, I like using these because you can boil water in them so it's a great tool to have with you something that you can store water but you can also purify it as well uh, so over the left hip in <clears throat> this little zippered pocket we have some blister patches I always get blisters when I'm hiking and some batteries mainly for my headlamp little AAA batteries uh, over on the right hip pocket is where I have my compass see that and one of the things that I didn't mention when we were going over it with the firearm is this pocket down at the bottom. You can unzip it and pull out a rain cover for the pack so it fits over the entire pack. Pretty cool that it comes with that. I really do like this pack. But uh, yeah, so bundles right up, stuff's right back in there. One of the things that I wish Grey Ghost would have done, and I don't know if they could have done, is right here on the bottom if they could have had some some like I don't know some nylon straps or something so that way I could strap a tent or a sleeping bag uh, on the bottom of the pack because the pack is a little too small to hold something like that but there's really no way to strap something like that to the bottom of the pack like you see with some other ones but uh, let's go through the pack we're just gonna work from the outside in so this top pocket I have some first aid gear a triangular bandage I have, uh, let's see here, a uh, SAM splint. It's always great to have when you're hiking. If you break something, twist an ankle, it's good to hold that up. A little trauma pack, so I added some extra band-aids and stuff to that. Just, you never know. That's mainly what I, what I see. But there's also some gauze, some quick clot, stuff that I added into that. All right, so this next area. So I got my jet boil, waterproof matches, my jet boil, and some extra fuel for my jet boil, small canister. Is that? Oh, some water purifying tablets. Yeah. Some DEET, because I hate bugs. Just a pen. Right here is a fire starter. And you guys can, obviously, you know, you could organize this however you want. You still have that loop there, so you can add some Velcro pouches if you want. Alright, so now in the big compartment, I have my knife up here in the magazine pouch. Just a camping knife. A little fire starter. Always good to have another uh, way of starting a fire. Ted Koppel lights out. Great book. Get a chance. Pick that up. Read that. Uh, water purifier system. Usually I keep a Sawyer Mini, but I couldn't find it for this video, so I grabbed the water purifier that we had, which is great. It's just a gravity feed system that I have. Little O O lantern from O Light. Really cool. I have. You can actually swap out the bulbs and make it a really bright LED or this flickering fire one. I kind of like the flickering fire one for camping, so... And it does put out a decent amount of light. So I keep that in there. Rechargeable battery, which is cool. Have my climate hammock. Awesome hammock. Not great for, for winter camping, obviously. Bite and sting kit. My son and daughter have been stung by wasps or bitten by wasps so many times. It's always great to have something like that. And not really that it's gonna suck out the venom, but 
there's those little sting relief pads that are in there that are just great for them so that's about it that's what we have in this pack just a, it is it's a great outdoor pack the cool thing about it is it looks like an outdoor pack i mean it's very gray man you could have a, a couple of guns in here and no one would be any the wiser i mean granted if you're walking around downtown seattle with this thing people are going to be thinking who's the weirdo i guess not in seattle that's that's a bad example there's weirdos everywhere that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video just again as a thanks to all our subscribers and patreons you guys make this fun for us i love interacting with you guys down in the comments so please keep that coming and just remember we have a discount code with gray ghost gear it's tldco and we'll have the code and a link down in the description below all right guys catch you later All right, so this pack has been fantastic. You can tell us. I love Grey Ghost stuff, right? Grey Ghost pack, Grey Ghost beanie. It can really do almost everything. You saw it hold a, a, a pistol. It can hold camping gear. It can do almost anything. Um, you can, it could even help you do a cartwheel. Okay. No, it can't do that. I got too overconfident. Uh, we can do almost everything else. Oh, my back.